Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to tell people to stop wasting your valuable time with their stupidity. Questions they already know the answers to and crazy rumours. Oh. Well, disclaimer, yeah, I did in fact say, I said it in a pinned comment, I said I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be discussing this anymore, like that's it, that's done, like not that I really discuss Meg anyway, but I was like, I'm not going to discuss this. And I didn't discuss it and it's been a few days and I still haven't discussed it until I saw the thing, the thing was just, aside from the fact that she's been making these stories, basically still saying the fact that, you know, that she's been bullied off the platform. I feel like I won because I'm the one who gets my mental health back and they're still gonna be on YouTube. Unfortunately, uh, making hate videos. I'm only gonna ever talk about it from my channel. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about it from my channel and from the fact that I don't think I've never bullied or harassed her or whatever. I've commented on things that she said and things that she has done, but mostly, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, they've all really been over on Instagram anyway. Um, I've never belittled her, I've never called her names, I've said that she's being quite rude because as I have pulled out of the vault, remembering all of the different things that she's ever said to her own subscribers, just asking questions on top of other things, I've never called her names, the only thing I ever have called her is I, th I thought she was being rude and entitled and I have said that she's being rude. Her, her behavior is rude. I've never insulted her. Customers, like stop being so bloody rude. It is so annoying. I'm backlash for it because some people are saying like, but mostly there are a small percentage that are saying she's being greedy. <coughs> I'm not saying she's being greedy or she's not being greedy. I'm just saying that she's rude <laughs> in this circumstance. She's being really rude. She's just being extremely rude in this situation. So a very small percentage of people are saying she's being greedy. Other, mostly split and split. Some people are saying, yes, I'll follow you to the moon and back. Of course I'll come and pay for your subscription service. Of course I'll come do that. Who are like loyal, loyal, hardcore fans. The other bit are saying, bearing in mind from people who were loyal, hardcore fans and still are, are saying, I'm so sorry, I just can't afford it right now. I don't insult people on my channel. And the thing is, is that I would happily like have just dropped it and just gone, oh yeah, okay. She's obviously in a really bad place. I sympathize, I understand. Like Meg, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Like if you're in a bad situation, I'm sorry that people's negativity has driven you to that point. But on the other side of it, I also didn't appreciate being banded in with everyone else when she probably doesn't even know who I am. People don't even like watch my, a lot of people like coming over saying I'm a bully and all of this kind of stuff. And I'm just like, whoa, like, What's going on? I've had someone email me and say I'm really, really sorry for like da 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 da, and it's like it's all good. But the thing that got me was the fact that she has basically highlighted it, created a little highlight reel on her Instagram, and is making it. And she's she's added more stuff to it. She's been like showing people how to like mass report people's channels and stuff. And all I will say is that speaking from my own personal experience, I don't deserve to be mass reported for anything when I'm just commenting on other people's things. If I'm not bullying, harassing, belittling, or calling people names, da -da 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 -da, why the hell am I being banded into this like mass reporting spree? There is this theory, and I'm gonna read like a few comments um, out here today. There are a few people who are saying, um, this isn't what I, by the way, I'm just reading out comments. This isn't like what I necessarily think, but I'm still think it's food for thought. And this is the, it is one of the consensus. I'm not saying it's the overall consensus. I'm saying that it's something that people are talking about at the minute, whereby people think that this was some sort of massive master plan to get people to sign up for her, for her subscription service. Um, so I will read a few of those comments just for like, just to view it maybe from a different angle. It is an interesting analogy for sure. Why not? It is an interesting analogy. I literally wasn't gonna say a single thing more until I noticed that she's still promoting having people mass report other people's channels without any content. Um, and I think that's wrong. Like that is actually breaking YouTube's terms of service. I've Googled it. That is, you can't just go and flag people's channels without actually watching it. Mostly because she's telling her audience to and her audience are not necessarily going to listen to what other people have to say, 
even if what other people have to say isn't nasty, it's just their own opinions on Meg's content. If you're gonna be nasty and mean and belittle people, uh, you, you do deserve to be called out on it, obviously. Likewise, when people call Meg out for being rude. Yesterday I woke up and chose sass. Some days you have, you have to though, you gotta, tell people to stop wasting your valuable time with their stupidity, questions they already know the answers to and crazy rumours. I feel the need to set records straight sometimes when I feel like the stupidity is getting out of hand. I'm only going to read a little section of that but like I say that's being pretty rude and that's only been being rude to her fans and that lot. The same people who want to come on over here and tell me I'm being mean. I've never said anything like that. I've always just commented on posts like that and gone yeah, that's maybe not really what something you should be saying. We enforce these community guidelines using a combination of human reviewers and machine learning and apply them to everyone equally, regardless of the subject or the creator's background, political viewpoint, position. Okay, so I clicked on because apparently she doesn't like me and she thinks people should report me for bullying and harassment. So we're gonna read a few of these things. Basically showing pictures of someone and then making statements like, look at that creature's teeth, they're so disgusting, with similar commentary targeting intrinsic attributes throughout the video. Like I said, I've always commented on things that are extrinsic, things which are outside, things that her actions, things that she said, but 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 I've never once said, I think I've actually commented on like how nice her hair is. I, I do, I'll throw in a comment every now and again. This is what I mean, I'm only getting riled up and I'm only speaking to my own content. Targeting an individual, making claims they are involved in human trafficking in the context of a harmful conspiracy, using an extreme insult to dehumanize an individual an individual based on their intrinsic attributes. For example, look at this dog of a woman, she's not even a human being. Okay, what happens if content, if content violates this policy? If your content violates this policy, it will remove the content and send you an email to let you know. If this is your first time violating our community guidelines, you'll likely get a warning with no penalty. And what I'm trying to say is the fact that she obviously sent a, load, sent a load of people to come mass report my channel and once again they don't see anything the matter with it. If YouTube don't see anything the matter with it and Meg is saying that they're still bullying and harassing, then you know what, I can only speak for my own channel but there's a reason why nothing is being done about my channel is because I haven't done anything wrong and she is still going on about it and trust me, like I know, I know how crap life can get, I know I know how horrible and deep, dark and depressing things can get. However, it's not then fair to just drag people into it. Someone said it actually in a comment. Someone was like, oh, commentary channels are like the TMC of the like, <laughs> of YouTube. And it is kind of true, you know, if you're reporting things. I don't think it's fair to like, you know, I, 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 get, I get where she's coming from and the fact that she doesn't like being being spoken about or anything like that but it's also not very fair and against YouTube terms of service to then just drag us all in, band us all in together and just send people. And she's still advertising it. She's still advertising this on her highlights. This is the reason why I'm making this video because it's bloody annoying. Like I don't deserve to be banded in. If YouTube don't see a problem with it, then maybe you've just got to look a little bit inward and go, hmm, everything I've ever spoken about is true. It's provable. It's something that I've just commented on. And if she doesn't like my comments, then maybe she just shouldn't put it online in the very first place. But I do, like, I feel bad for her. I don't want her to be upset, obviously. Um, and there are some theories going around. Like, there are some theories going around where, you know, people seem to think that maybe this is all an act so that she can then get more people to join her subscription service, which I don't, like, whatever. I'm gonna read a few of those comments uh, to, like, obviously form your own opinion. So here's something she actually did post, uh, which hasn't really aged very well. The decisions I've made don't need to affect you. If you're in control of your emotions, you can choose to let it not affect you because I will most definitely be here doing what I need to, not letting anyone else's life decisions affect me and what I want to do with my life. If this is affecting you to the point of being upset, take this time to look internally and ask yourself why. Why is someone else's life bothering me this much? And all I can, all I can say to that is that she should really take her own advice that she needs to take her own advice. This is the advice that she's then giving out to other people. It's like, yeah, maybe you should. Like, because just telling other people, like just telling people to mass report channels, 
what what is that doing for you? The thing is, is that she says that, oh, it wasn't as bad. You know, I've been on here for so long and it wasn't as bad back then. It's like, yeah, because commentary channels within this niche didn't exist. And she doesn't like being held accountable for any of the things that she said or done. And never once have I ever heard her say sorry, sorry for talking to people a certain way, sorry for deceiving people, sorry for, you know, she's never, ever, ever once said sorry. Instead, she has her husband moderate her comments so that it's just one great big hug box. And she doesn't take any of it on board, which isn't fair. And you can kind of see why she would suddenly just go like, ah, and just like, at the end of the day, you know, I'm not in her inbox being mean. She's always she's always talking about people be you know in, in her inbox being mean and stuff. So do you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, you think like she's saying, look internally. Maybe she should look internally. Maybe she should do that. Maybe we should all look internally. I know I need to look internally from time to time. I need to do some internal reflection right now, to be honest with you. You know, everyone, everyone should do that and apologize when they've done something wrong, apologize if they've upset people. Yeah, and I'll say it, if I've said anything to you that has upset you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, if I've ever upset anyone with the language that I've chosen to use. Um, I'm not gonna add a but onto it, otherwise that would make that whole statement completely nil, no, nil, no. So some of the comments are saying, I think it might be a cynical way to push people over to her subscription channel. Um, I don't necessarily think, well, I know, I don't think so. I don't think that this was all like a master plan. I think she, like she says, has put on an extremely brave front and she's gone, I'm not upset, I'm not upset, I'm not upset. And then all of a sudden she's just like gone, ah, I think that's the case. I think that if she's telling people that she is extremely upset and that, you know, she, she, in her words, didn't like, she wanted to unalive herself and stuff, I think, I think I would take that on face value. But she then started comparing it to other people and saying other people have offered themselves for less and stuff. Obviously, I don't condone that. But if, you know, I can understand the types of messages that she would get. And I can also understand that the amount of controversy she's sort of like bought onto, like, and I will say bought onto herself, which has then made people, maybe some, you know, some people might be acting quite maliciously with that, like viewers and all of that. You know, I can understand that she would have upset a lot of people and some people would have just like got their claws out and that must not be very nice to deal with. And I do appreciate that. And that it probably would have like, yeah, it probably would have tipped her over. Um, but then you would have thought that she would then have a little bit more compassion towards her, like shown a bit more compassion towards her fans and stuff when they're just asking innocent questions. Someone said, I'm sorry, but I don't believe a word that they are saying. They are greedy and not good people at all. R Meg is rude and inconsiderate to her followers. Well, yeah, she, she is, but she is a bit rude. If her mental health was really bad, like she claims, then she wouldn't be making videos anywhere, and that includes her website. What makes her think that her haters don't have someone or are not paying to watch her private videos? This is just this is just manipulation. A lot of YouTubers manipulate their followers to get them to do what they want. She's reporting and complaining and tagging YouTube, asking them to remove commentary channels like she's so important. To YouTube, she's just someone else that makes them money. This is true and people don't really realize this, but YouTube, like I will say this right now, YouTube will will remove content that they deem as inappropriate and bullying, etc., etc. They will, do not get me wrong. But at the same time, they value people who make them a lot of money and sometimes you see it where they turn a blind eye but i think in this situation when you have so many people like reaching out and whatever i also am um, curious to see like who she was talking to at youtube because youtube is you cannot get hold of youtube like there's not someone you can like ring up and chat to or like even email half the time you're kind of given the same options as everyone else i think when you unlock like a million followers or something you get given this like I don't know, I've seen rumours about like these like YouTube cafes that exist to people that have like a lot of followers. I don't know if that's true. Where did I see that? Has anyone else seen that as well? Like these cafes that exist for people that are, have a lot of followers and they can like go in there and what? I don't know. Am I dreaming that? I might actually just be dreaming that. Someone let me know. I'm not really sure. But, like YouTube at the end of the day, it is a, we rely on YouTube, YouTube, I mean, we rely on YouTube a lot more than YouTube rely on us, so that is the thing. That is the thing. YouTube tends to just, YouTube, 
I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to be demonetized YouTube, but YouTube take a massive great big cut. For some bizarre reason, I get tax loads because I'm from the UK. I get, I get sent my money after they've taken a cut. And then I then get it cut again by like 10% or something. And I'm just like, well, what is happening? This is what YouTube does. YouTube is all about making the money and sometimes they will turn a blind eye. But I don't think in this case, when they have that quantity of people like mass reporting channels, I don't think they could turn a blind eye to it. At that point, you're gonna have actual people reviewing content and going, yeah, this is all right, yeah, it's not. I won't forget how mean she was to the people that said that they couldn't afford to subscribe to her website. You are not mean at all. All of my videos I've ever done on Love Meg Back just to like make sure I wasn't being a complete cow. And I wasn't, I, in fact, I was quite new to making commentary back then. So I would have been even more like reserved than I am now. If anything, now I am the least reserved I've ever been. Uh, because I've just been doing it for a little bit longer and I'm a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, like back then I would have been a lot more like, and I know I have, I've watched it and I I don't I don't see an issue with what I've posted. I can only speak for myself. Someone else said, this is clearly a business strategy. Everything they're doing this year, she started the new website, started promoting her change in lifestyle so she can open her new niche and new community of people. Then she sold their house because they can't afford it any longer. I don't actually believe that. I do honestly think that they sold it because it was like worth more money then. I might be wrong, but I do think actually in hindsight, in like reflection, they probably were quite smart to do that, especially if they did want to go traveling. Sorry, I'm like surrounded by hay and I have really bad hay fever. She started to act like she is a minimalist and enjoying little things in life. But remember, everything leads to a new Meg and a new lifestyle and niche. Yeah, a lot of the YouTube mums do this. They like start like the new beginning. Like, you know, um, I, uh, what's it when you like think about something that you really really manifestation yeah I like I manifested this and a lot of them do that and I don't really believe in that kind of stuff I just think if you just work hard you get something but then if you work hard you don't always get something because you have many people who deserve a lot more than the hands they're dealt with in life and I think sometimes when you reach such a huge success you don't realize you don't look around for like one moment and go oh like things are actually bad for other people. Other thing, other people cannot achieve what I have achieved because of various different reasons. It's not as straightforward as just manifesting, like manifesting things and then getting it. It's not as simple as that. Then she announced that if Molly isn't okay enough to travel to Europe, they won't go. So she could totally let that she is not and they are staying, but because they sold their house, they need to buy a smaller one, smaller because she is now a minimalist and doesn't give a crap for big fancy houses. I will say that I do think people can like change. I do think like, um, I do think people can change. I think a lot of, I think she's probably being quite impulsive because obviously they have just sold the house and things. So they're probably, you know, I do think they are going to go traveling as long as they're like dogs all cleared and stuff like I do. And I do think it would actually do her good because she obviously like the pressure's like mounting. And I do honestly think that she should. At first I was a bit skeptical, but as long as her kids and dogs are like all right to travel for a year, just go for it. I do think she has done a complete like 360, 360 or 180. 180 with kind of what what her content was and now what her content is. If you wanna do that, you go for it girl, you do it. Uh, but some people are gonna have an issue with it uh, and think it's fake. I think that people go through, oh my God, I sound like Meg. Oh my God, could we be friends? No, um, I do think people like obviously go through seasons of their life. I swear she said that once upon a time. I do think that I've gone through so many different phases. You wouldn't have recognized me five years ago. You wouldn't have recognized me 10 years ago. Every five years, something's happening. Usually my hair is getting blonder, but something is happening. Now everybody who feels sorry for her subscribed to her website and she has everything she wanted. Now she ha now she has the reason why she is no longer a YouTuber, but that was more convenient than say that her channel is struggling. I honestly think she's doing this to get people to run to her website and pay. Her views and money are taking a hit because people are over these kinds of channels. Yeah, definitely. I think mummy, like mumfluencers, I think the curtain has been lifted with a lot of them and a lot of people actually would much rather watch commentary done on the mums and the actual mums themselves. Her husband and herself say and do questionable things but don't want anyone to call them out. Yeah, this is the problem. People call them out and then we then get done for bullying and harassment. 
These people want to be able to say and do as they please, but you better not call them out or you're a bully. That's exactly what I just said. Reminds me of elementary school when they pick on you, but if you picked back, they cry to the teacher. I think that YouTube has become such a big thing that when commentary channels start up in different genres, a lot of people just like don't know how to handle them and they think that you're being mean and that. And it's like, no, it's just, it's a space, it's a, <clears throat> it's a space to go to for people that don't really like watching the creators anymore and want to watch it for another person's eyes and that's kind of where commentary channel comes in and i get it i watch commentary channels on other genres or other people but but it doesn't mean i'm like a nasty human being it's because i don't want to watch the actual person i want to watch someone else give commentary on the actual person if you see what i mean like some people get it and some people don't and some creators i can understand At the end of the day you just got to know who you are deep down but then again if loads of people are telling you this is wrong, I'm upset by this, can you please explain? And your only reaction is to go, ah, like, go away, go away, and just tell everyone to go away, basically, and say nothing's the matter. It upsets people. I was never really watching her videos, really, to get any commentary from. A lot of my commentary actually comes from her Instagram, rather than YouTube, because her YouTube was always just filled with, like, uh, just cleaning videos and ads, like, nothing to really... I don't know, there's nothing to really talk about, just the same old, same old. So there was nothing really for me to talk about. So a lot of the times I was mostly talking about like her major life changes uh, and then also her uh, her Instagram, that's it. And like I say, most of the stuff I've ever said about her is me reading things that she said. I'm going, no, that's not right. And you become a voice for the people that she has actually spoken badly about. I don't think she likes that people en masse aren't very happy. I think it would have done her a world of good. I've just never ever heard her say sorry for just anything she's ever said or the way she's acted towards people. I've never heard her say sorry. And I think saying sorry um, shows a lot of humility. And it on even the, the worst thing about saying sorry is that people will not then accept your apology. But sometimes I think if you mean it and you say sorry, that actually makes you feel better. And even if that, even if some people don't want to accept it, you've said it now, you've put it out there, you've said you're sorry, and you can then just lay it to rest. Um, but I think, yeah, one of the scariest parts for saying sorry to a lot of people is the fact that people won't accept it. But if you don't try it, how will you ever know? Anyway, my lovelies, have a wonderful day wherever you guys are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.